I'm Ann Kalis, CEO of Starfish Family Services. For more than 50 years, Starfish has been helping children in our community realize their full potential. And over the last couple of decades, we've realized more and more that children live in the context of families, and in order to break the cycle of poverty, we not only have to work with children, but also empower their parents and caregivers to be their best champions and advocates. In 2005, Leah and Larry met and fell in love. His children from a previous marriage, Gabe and Olivia, were also instantly smitten with Leah. Once Larry and I decided that we were going to get married is when we agreed that it was okay to finally meet the kids. As soon as she got to play with them and hang out with them, they were, they were so happy, they had such a good time. A couple years later in 2007, Leah and Larry were happily married and surprised to learn that she was pregnant with twins. And Larry had lost his job, which meant no insurance. I also had no income whatsoever. And we had, uh, we had tried to battle with the courts to get full, uh, full custody. Um, and it just didn't work out our way. So we were uh, doing what we had to do. In 2008, Leah and Larry received a devastating call. Larry's ex-wife was critically ill. It kind of all happened overnight. I hadn't seen my first two mom in quite a while. And then all of a sudden, I get a phone call out of the blue and that she's sick. And it wasn't that she was just sick, she was hospitalized in a coma. Sadly, Gabe and Olivia's mom didn't make it. She passed away from alcoholism. When the kids came to stay with us, they literally came in the middle of the night. It was about three in the morning with only what they had on their backs. When I started to dig even more, uh, bad situation, um, malnourished, not taken care of, not clean. Um, it's a rough situation for them. As concerned parents, Leah and Larry sought therapy for Gabe and Olivia. They were determined to make sure that the traumatic experience of losing their mom did not negatively affect their entire lives. They turned to Starfish for counseling and trauma services. You know, uh, with something going on like that, you, you try to wrap your head around it, but you, you can't. Um, you just try and take care of the kids. That's, that's the power of being a parent. It's not easy, but... And getting that smile back. That's right. As soon as they <laughs> smile, you're good. <laughs> the only thing my kids have known, the one solid thing they've ever had is starfish. That's the only thing that hasn't changed for them. Without the support of preschool services, I would have been completely lost. The kids are successful now, and I know it's because of this early intervention they got. At the classes that we went to, the PEP classes. Which is Parent Empowerment Program. It was kind of our hangout time. Whenever we it was got, our date night when was, we it went. It was our date morning. <laughs> day morning. Whenever we went to To be a, together <laughs> and to interact with other parents. Yeah. And you could feel that you weren't alone. The oldest two utilized a lot of the clinical support services for children in trauma and crisis. The home visits, trying to find ways for Gabriel to uh, deal with some of his anger and just his sadness. Olivia was having a very difficult time adjusting to preschool when she first went. Her teachers happened to notice that she wasn't connecting with other children. So they actually at nap time would move her, her nap time spot by different other different children and she finally after a few weeks they put her next to somebody and they clicked and Olivia blossomed overnight. Starfish helped to ease things that may come up in the future because they've learned coping skills and how to deal with some of things that life throws at you. Whether it's something now or something when you're 25 or 40, changes happen and you have to be able to cope. I know a lot of people that don't even have a clue that we've been through the things we have been through. Life's not always going to be the best, but you're going to make it through it. And, and when you want to quit, Starfish will help you yeah, out, support. whether it's the you'll people or the programs, you know, and, and for sure. I think that's one of the big things with our children is knowing that there was the extra support besides just us. It's extremely important to support and give back to places like Starfish because little faces depend on you, they depend on you, and it's nice to be able to depend on somebody else 
to make sure that that happens. It, it made the world a difference. I don't think we would be as strong as we are right now. I really don't, I, I, you know? No, our family would not be as strong as they are no today without starfish. Today we celebrate starfish families and the Runyon family in particular. Larry's back working full time, Leah's an amazing mother, Gabe's won literary contests describing his childhood, Olivia is an honor roll student, and the twins are thriving in elementary school. Our work serving families at Starfish would be impossible without hundreds of donors, corporate partnerships, and thousands of volunteer hours. It's together that we can bring transformational initiatives like Starfish University to the families that we serve, meeting them where they're at with what they need.